set it aside as uh, preserved, we're actually in a win-win situation. It's a win for the community, it's, it's a win in terms of biology, and it's a win for uh, Mr. Potts as well. Let's see Millennium Trail. Stowe Trail. People don't call you up and say, do you want some money to solve your problem? It has to be, and it will only be the result of the uh, will of the community, the voice of the community, and the leadership of the elected officials. You've got to get in and basically play the game and fight for the money. I think we have to come to grips with reality, get committed to, to what the options are, develop a, a strategy, and implement it, and, and put some money on the table and make it good. I, I want what Van wants. We're, we're in 100% agreement. I want the ranch to be open space. But I need Van's help and everyone in Santee's help to get us there. It happens so rarely that I can guarantee you, I absolutely guarantee you, that if you go to any project for which you have a historical perspective, that you can look back at a victory or a loss you can go back to that very issue and you will find out that the community was engaged with the victories and they were not engaged with the losses. That's just a fact. It is amazing where the real power is and the real power is with the community. And how many people are going to walk out of this and make the commitment, actually make the commitment to see something through? There's the dog days, there's the months, and it goes on and on and on. You run out of gas, you run out of money, you run out, you run out, you run out. And how many people actually see it through? That's that's the real issue. You have to have the political will to fight for the res limited resources that are available to create these kinds of preserves. <laughs>
No, I'm just getting in on the other side. Which, which side, Sandy? Go ahead. You can continue on. Oh. And tell me about these books. Where are they? What are they for? Well, these books essentially are referendum the Benita Rance decision, which allows the people of Santee to vote on the 2,988-unit project. We're essentially asking the city council to reconsider their decision of May 12th. If they won't reconsider that decision, then they have the choice of, of bringing that to either the next general election or calling a special election. And why don't you guys want this uh, project on? Uh, essentially, we feel that this is going to put uh, Mass Boulevard and Highway 52 in gridlock. It's going to degrade the quality of life of our town. It's going to destroy the aesthetic value of our hills in Santee. Uh, it's going to endanger the, the health and safety of our children on our neighborhood streets. And uh, we feel that the amount of money that was contributed to our uh, council members in the last campaign was extraordinarily high and inappropriate and unethical. We feel they've sold our citizens out, and we're here to say no. How many signatures did, uh, did you uh, get? Uh, we've gotten a total of 9,050 signatures on two petitions that uh, represent uh, 4,500 plus individuals. What do you expect to happen? What's going to happen? Well, um, I think, you know, we all think here in this room at least, that um, the overwhelming majority of Santee citizens are opposed to this project, that they will vote it down in election. Um, and we believe the signatures and public comments over the last five years uh, demonstrate that. And we would like to see an honest election that debates the issues and the merits of the project. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I want to see, I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. We should hear the coyote soon. Actually, I already heard some. Mm -hmm. Mommy, I want to see. Can you pick me up? Just walk right out there. You can see it. I want you to pick me up. After Fenita Ranch development was defeated in a landslide, and since this film was produced, a new corporation has mounted an effort to build on Fenita Ranch.